The French fry station is a reactive position in the restaurant because you have to pay attention and keep on top of the big picture at all times. Setup. The morning setup and preparation of the French fry station requires a routine of small details. Initially, the station must be stocked up. Roll the french fry cart into position if it has not already been done. Then, seek out the necessary utensils. Two french fry scoops, one full can of seasoning salt, a supply of french fry boxes, carryout trays, a roll of towels, four wire baskets, two to three cases of frozen french fries, including the previous night's leftovers, and shortening. Once the station has been outfitted, you are then ready to start the fryer. If you are of the conviction that this involves nothing more than flipping a switch and turning a dial, then you are a prime candidate for an accident. And with the French fryers, accidents can be unforgiving. French fry oil heated to a temperature of 360 degrees can cause serious damage to skin tissue. It has happened before, so be extremely cautious. Study the temperature control at the front of the fryer. Before you begin, make sure the temperature control is in the off position. Now check the shortening levels in both fryers. If you are unsure of how much each should contain, ask someone who knows. The critical thing is that the heating element, black bars, remains covered at all times. Having checked the levels, with the temperature control in the off position, flip the toggle switch upward to the on position. The green light should come on. Turn the temperature control dial clockwise until the orange light comes on, about 200 degrees. When the oil reaches 200 degrees, the orange light will then go off. Then, and only then, turn the temperature dial up to 250 to 275 degrees. Again, wait for the orange light to shut off before increasing the temperature. Repeat this process again until you have reached a setting of 360 degrees. When doing this, it is essential that you never leave the fryers unattended. If you are called away, ask someone else to watch over them. It only takes a few seconds for an exposed bar to spark and catch fire. During the course of a busy summer day, either fryer may overload because of the constant electrical demand. If this happens, the red light will go on. To remedy, flip the toggle switch to off. This should cause the red light to go off. Then flip the switch back to the on position and increase the temperature slowly as described above. If the red light does not go off or is constantly coming on, inform the manager immediately. Cooking. When filling a wire basket, remember that with the large scoop, one full scoop of french fries is equal to about three orders. A maximum of five orders per basket is permitted. In addition, avoid having two baskets cooking in the same fryer at any one time. While not always possible, it should be strived for. This means that you could have up to 10 orders cooking, five in either fryer at any one time. Overall then, up to 20 orders could be in the stage of preparation. For example, 10 cooking down and 10 cooked up. During non-peak periods, it is important to cook to order, or at least as close as possible. Hot dogs can and should be reheated. French fries should never be. Taste a hastily reheated French fry and you'll know why. At the same time, it is important to completely empty each basket. Otherwise, French fries that have been cooked twice may end up in a customer's order. As a general rule, the appropriate number of french fries should be dropped or submerged shortly after the corresponding hamburgers have been flipped for the first time. For example, if there are three bills on the counter, assuming the total number of hamburgers needed is five and the total number of french fries is three, you will drop three orders at the same moment the cook flips the corresponding five burgers. Obviously, this is done to ensure that both the hamburgers and french fries leave the restaurant hot. In peak periods, when cooking to order is no longer desirable, you must be able to adjust to volume cooking. Keep the following in mind. 75% of Weber's customers order french fries with their hamburger. Use this in conjunction with the number of people in the lineup and the number of patties on the grill. 
Determining when a french fry is properly cooked is something only experience can teach. Texture, color, and of course taste should all be considered. Once you have spent time on it, cooking will become second nature to you. When an order or several orders are cooked, they must be carefully removed and drained of excess oil. Even a perfectly cooked order of french fries can be ruined if not properly drained. A couple of tips. Hold the basket over the fryer in a stationary, angled position so that the trapped oil can drain freely. Once the flow of oil has come to a stop, vigorously shake the basket to remove any excess oil. You may have to repeat either of these two procedures, particularly if you're working with several orders in one basket. The next step, and equally important as far as taste goes, is seasoning the french fries. Just as taste can be destroyed by improper cooking or draining, seasoning, especially over-seasoning, can significantly alter taste. You don't have to be a genius to understand the variance in seasoning among french fry cooks. Those who love the stuff tend to over-salt, and those who don't, don't salt enough. When using the seasoning salt, keep in mind that you are trying to enhance the taste of all the fries, not just those on the top of the pile. This means that using the scoop, you should be continually mixing the fries while at the same time seasoning. Packaging french fries is also an ongoing source of misunderstanding and confusion. While no one wants a half-empty box of french fries, few people actually want more than they are due. Try to find a happy medium. Each individual box is designed to hold one full scoop of fries. Again, practice makes perfect. When there are two people operating the french fry station, one thing is important, communication. The primary source of this communication is the carrier. He or she must be able to relay a variety of information to the cook. Unusual orders, well done, no salt, the number of orders needed, and the general status of the operation, whether behind or too far ahead. These are just a few examples. Beyond this, the carrier must assume the role of quality controller. He or she must ensure that the product is of the highest order, both in taste and appearance. Each order must be accompanied with a fork and salt serving. In short, the carrier assumes final responsibility for each serving of french fries leaving the restaurant. A huge task when you consider that, on a busy day, several thousand orders pass through Weber's doors. Finally, both the cook and the carrier must undertake to keep their station clean and well stocked. Again, communication is the key. Whether it is between themselves or with the person on back, the important thing is that the job gets done. Fryers should be regularly wiped. Floors should be swept. Oil levels should be constantly monitored. Once the levels drop below the full mark, shortening should be added. Each of the supplies needed should also be checked regularly. Summary Clearly, there are numerous duties, large and small, involved with the french fry station. No one expects you to be able to master each of these, but try to be aware of these and therefore ready to deal with them. Keep the following in mind. Number one, food. French fries should be served hot, properly cooked, and seasoned in an appetizing way. Avoid reheating and over or under seasoning. Two, presentation. This includes three areas. The product, the station, and the individual. All must be maintained at a high level. Three, communication. Cannot be stressed enough. It must include not only the cook and the carrier, but the CEO, the chef, the person on back, and the customer. By keeping in touch with all these people, problems can be minimized. See the big picture. 4. Respect Whether cooking or carrying french fries, it is important to show a caring attitude for the product. This holds true for all stations.